box number five. Where has that time gone? Can you believe we're coming up to October already? And I tell you what, this box is a corker. You are going to love it. You're going to love it if you're someone who likes to adorn all your cards and pages and projects with flowers. And who doesn't love to do flowers? So we're talking about beautiful flowers like these. Now, Obviously, the cards I've made here, they're all about having the flower as the centerpiece. But whether you have them as a centerpiece, whether you just use them in a little corner to embellish the corner of a, of a project, it's simple. Whether you want to do little ones or big ones. And I've got everything you need in the box, okay? So let's have a good look at everything that's coming. So, 255 elements in this one. We open it up. We're going to get the tissue opened. And the first thing we're going to hit are the actual strips, right? So, if I pop this box to one side, let me show you these strips. So you get pages and pages of these strips along with the special tool. So we've done different types of flowers and we've done different colours. So you can see here's all the different ones we've got. And you can see each one of these is die cut, ready to go. So for example, if we want to make one of these flowers, so this one to me looks like it's going to give you, yes, it's going to be this type of flower here. So you can see everything is pre-die cut. You get a couple of different sizes and these literally just pop out of the sheet. So you've got all of the all of the pages ready to go, ready for this to pop out. Then once you've got all of your elements popped out, you're going to follow the tutorials. You're going to come to the website, uh, crafterscompanionbox.com, and you're going to, going to follow some of my tutorials to learn how to put these together. Now, you've got uh, the actual flowers. The, so these are the petals. But then you've got a whole set as well of the centerpieces for the flowers. So the stamens. So you can see we've got sheets of the stamens in different shades. You've got plain stamens and fancy ones. And then you've got sheets of leaves to go with them as well. And then the tool is coming included. So when we get the tool open, you'll see this is a specialist quilling tool. And you're going to take the quilling tool and you're going to, first of all, roll up one of your centerpieces. In fact, let me just show you that. So if we take this out, you're going to pop this in the centre and we're going to start by rolling this up. Okay. I'm just doing it quickly, but you'll be doing it obviously with a little bit of adhesive on to get it to stay. So we roll the centerpiece of the stamen. And then once we've got our stamen, you're going to add a little bit of tape under there and you're going to start rolling around all of your petals. And this is forming the basis of how you do the flowers. So you can see just how easy that is to start and roll these flowers together. And then you can be adding different shades, different colours. I'll take that piece out there now. Uh, you can then be adding um, your own embellishments to here. This is just showing you the basis of how we create one of those flowers. Okay? But if you watch my video tutorial, you'll be able to learn all about how to do it. So you would just continue like that. You would add some of the other pieces. And as you add more and more, this is when you get to some of these more fancy flowers. So you can see these are all different rolled flower techniques using the different flowers that you've got in the box. Right. So that's your starting point. So the tool, uh, leaves and stamens, and then loads and loads of beautiful flowers. Now. That's just the first part in this box. Because then, of course, you're going to put your flowers onto your cards. So you get 18 different cards in the box. And if I show you, we've got a mix of some of your smaller 4x6s, some of your larger 6x6s, and even some of the 5x7s in there. So 18 in total to work with. We then move on to the envelopes. Now, here's the thing. These are a bit big to go in regular envelopes. So what we've done is we've put you in some gusseted envelopes. So if I show you each one of these, all the envelopes for all the different sizes we're working with, and you'll see each of these envelopes are the ones that have that beautiful gusset on the side. So it's not just about making the cards, but it's then being able to send them. So I really have tried to think of everything for you in the boxes, right? So you've got your 18 cards, you've got your 18 envelopes to go then if you notice on all the cards, we've got these lovely foiled sentiments and little butterflies. Well, that is a whole pack of the butterflies and the sentiments. So if I just show you all of the different die cut toppers that we've got. Lots of pages, things like heartfelt thanks, just for you, life is beautiful, wishing you happiness today and always. And you're getting um, this four sheets of those in there. So there's plenty for you to go at, okay? So those are your butterfly toppers. 
The beautiful papers that I've used are all coming included. So you've got a whole selection of the papers. And I've done the papers in six by six, so that obviously you can cut them down for your smaller cards, um, but they're going to work for your larger cards as well. So there's your papers that are going to match, all floral themed to go with the, the flowers. And then once you've learned how to do the flowers, I thought, wouldn't it be nice if you could keep doing them over and over and over and over and over and over again? So what I've done is included a set of dies, two sets of dies, actually. So if I show you this first die set, this is going to cut you out the flowers that you need. So you see you've got one die which is going to do your centerpiece stamen and then one to do the various leaves. So this here is going to give you this sort of flower okay so it's going to give you one of those daisy types and it's actually not the one that big it's this size here okay and the idea is you know if you love the quilled flowers we have loads of quilling dies so once you've mastered the technique with the pre die cut ones you can obviously go on and get the dies if you want to or you've got some dies in the box to get you started we've also included the set of the leaf dies so if i show you these these are going to be brilliant for cutting out all of your little leaves to embellish around. So again, you've got some pre-die cut in the pack to get you started, and then you've got the die to go on and do many more. And of course, to cut all of these out, I've done you a huge pack of coloured papers. So these are essentially your papers ready to do your quilling. So you've got 52 sheets um, in all of the colours under the rainbow. Perfect colours for doing your florals. So... There's a lot in this box. There's a lot to learn about creating your own rolled paper flowers or quilling flowers as we know. But by the time you get to the end of the box, you'll hopefully have mastered the technique. You'll have the tools and the dies that you need to be going on and doing loads of these flowers forever in a day.